Hello, hello. My name's Emma Martin. I'm an artist who specialises in mass participation projects. And here I am in the silly hat with a group of Stanley Grove Primary Academy pupils who've been helping me to develop a project. The project's for Manchester City Council's Year of the Child and Young Person. And here's the lovely photo they chose to launch the Year of the Child. Manchester is a city of sanctuary, which means we welcome people from all around the world, as evidenced by the over 200 languages spoken in Manchester. So we wanted the Year of the Child to celebrate all children, including these. For example, who are stuck at Calais, waiting to get to safety. And to help our young people understand why families end up in dangerous positions like this, as has been seen recently with the tragic drownings in the Channel. So the project we've come up with is called Happy safe and free and it is entirely free there's no charge for your school to take part we will supply you with the materials we will supply you with all the teaching resources to help you and we will be supporting you throughout 2022 your pupils begin working with us on or after the 21st of february which is international mother language day They'll be working on a green piece of paper we supply, recording in text and drawings everything that makes them feel... Happy! Then on or after the 8th of March, which is International Women's Day, your pupils will be working on blue paper and this time they'll be exploring creatively the things that make them feel... Safe! Then on or after the 21st of March, which is International Anti-Racism Day, your pupils will be working on white paper. This time they'll be exploring along the theme of Free To Be Me, recording anything that makes them feel. Free! We'll be asking you to display and celebrate the children's work around school and sharing it on social media so all of the schools participating can see what each other is doing. At the end of March, you take a bit of a break, so you've got some time for all your SATs or exam preparation. And meanwhile, I'll be working with groups of refugees, asylum seekers and new arrivals to create large scale pieces of artwork based on the idea of happy, safe and free. These will be all stuck together. This is just a mini example for you, but we'll be making gigantic sheets of paper, which we'll be then working on turning into giant origami boats. These artworks will be made with the wider community, but you might ask me to come in to work with some of your new arrivals um, if you have got any new refugee groups that have come into school to make these lovely origami boats. In June, we then pick up the project again with the whole school where we've had plenty of time to enjoy and to celebrate all of the children's work that they produced for Happy, Safe and Free. We'll be getting the children to use this work to help them to explore and to empathise with why people have to make a difficult decision to become a refugee. We'll be doing this on or around the 8th of June, which is World Oceans Day, where we'll be asking the children to do something drastic. We'll ask them to shred their artwork, shred happiness, shred their safety and shred their freedom. By getting them to physically destroy happiness, safety and freedom, we'll be helping them to understand and empathise with why when people lose these things, they're forced to become refugees and leave their own homes. This again will be shared on all the participating school social media so we can see what each other has done. This brings us to our first exhibition, which will happen on the 18th of June. We'll have collected up all of the destroyed happiness, safety and freedom, and we'll exhibit that work that the children did, along with the gigantic origami boats produced by the refugees. It will be displayed throughout Manchester in galleries, in museums uh, and in other cultural assets like our libraries. Your pupils will be invited to visit these places and follow the trail of the artwork that they helped to produce. This will be very similar to a project we did two years ago called What's On Your Mind Manchester, where we put 10,000 hats made by the children in and around all the cultural assets of the city. In one of the cultural assets, the Whitworth, we'll be doing something slightly different. We'll be taking over an entire gallery space where we'll be filling it with our children's ocean of the happiness 
and safety and freedom they've destroyed along with the boats and it will become a play space where children can come and enjoy playing this will be going on longer than the trail this will be happening all the way through june to time with refugee week and you can send children groups of children to come and view this part of the exhibition if you like and come and have a play if that's suitable for your children it's very playful and fun but we want the children to come away with a sense of understanding and empathy how they might feel if they lost their happiness, safety and freedom. I felt confused. Work. Heartbroken. Scared. Sad. Devastated. Oh, Stressed. Sad. Do you remember why I've asked you to do that? Yes. Um, why? Because refugees, uh, this is kind of what happens to refugees, like their safety gets destroyed and their happiness gets destroyed. So they kind of have no choice but to move away. At the end of June, our installations will be all dismantled and we'll be collecting together those materials to do something else with them. We'll be gathering them together and adding them with some glue and other ingredients to turn them into papier-mâché pulp. And we'll be bringing that back to you at the schools to do something else with. It won't be every single pupil in your school. We'll want you to pick small groups of children to represent your school and who are going to turn the papier-mâché into bowls. The bowls are very vessels representing potential. Each individual refugee is a person possessing ideas, skills, talents and creativity. Each person has the potential to overcome their losses and difficulties to contribute as a citizen of Manchester. The making of the bowls can happen at any point in October that suits you, but we'll be tying it in with the big draw festival that's during October every year. When the bowls are made, we will come back and collect them. They will then be exhibited and actually sold to raise money for refugee charities that we've been working with over the project. In November, we'll be editing a film together, capturing everything that happened throughout the project, which you can then show your children in December to celebrate the end of the work and to celebrate the end of the year of the child. All that's left to say is... Join our project! Yay! Thanks for watching. Bye for now.